Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I went to geologist John McKay's talk, and he told us about this time where he took a trip to where the fossils were actually found. Check it out. Are there any human fossils? Well, I was actually engaged in searching for a human fossil because I'd published an article by a Christian author about a fossil that had been put in the basement of the British Museum once evolution became popular. Then I got into trouble. I was the editor of the Creation magazine at the time. The head of the British Museum said, how dare you? Right? And I said, well, you publish, you give me an article and if it's correct, I'll publish it. So I published their version. I noticed one thing in common in the two articles, neither the British Museum nor the original creation author had been to where this human fossil came from. Oh man. So John Mackay, being yeah. John Mackay, packed his bags, uh, went to the jungles and actually had a good look on this place. Number one, it had never been mapped geologically. Wow. The French used to own it, so they mapped it to here, mapped it from there, but the place where the fossil came from was not on any geological map. That was very interesting. Uh, secondly, I mapped it. Uh, thirdly, I reported back to the British Museum and I said, what you've said is wrong. Here's the maps. Give the guy full credit. He said, oh, oh, you're right. right? So if that was correct, the map wise, that made this fossil what the creationist author said, supposedly millions of years old. But anyway, I said, now that I'm here, can I see your human fossil? Sure. So down we went to the basement. Here's this petrified woman in limestone. Definitely, she was stone, totally, right? Laid out there <laughs> and, uh, and, and really in limestone. And I said to Dr. Chris Stringer, head of human fossils at the Naturalist Museum, a very <laughs> prestigious place, I said, how many human fossils do you know of? He said, oh, about 30,000. I thought, what? I said, why don't we read about them? He said, well, now there's about two to 3,000 in the official lists. There's another 10,000 in the unofficial lists. And there's another 10 to 20,000 after that in the if you need to know list. Right? Mm. And I thought, isn't that interesting? That's a good point. So there are really human fossils. Uh, I've seen one of them personally, and it's, it's as human as you and me, right? But put that in the position, there weren't a huge number of people at Noah's Day anyway, right? And even if they did get fossilized, it would have been in pretty much the scenario that Dan has mentioned, catastrophic, destructive. You know, as I like to tell them, they were judged by water. Now they're judged by fire. They're called petroleum.